hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and to everyone that is returning thank you so much okay guys i want this video to be as short as possible i i mean i've heard about the scholarship but the fact that you're paying for everything your flights your passport oh my god this is something i want you all to jump at okay so this school is in canada and this scholarship is in partnership with this school and i took my time out to like go through the website and i can't wait for you all to jump on it okay so one of the things that i want you all to know because i understand that one of the you know hardest things to do is to be able to prepare a convincing statement of purpose or even to prepare your academic cv but here's the here's the deal okay i have decided to review your documents at half the price just so that everyone can get into their desired program okay now rush because the deadline is fast approaching and we're already in october okay so you don't want to miss out and please do not forget to share this video i don't want you to also forget liking and don't forget to subscribe if you just came across my video for the first time okay i love you all and i can't wait to show you all about the scholarship now let's go to my laptop so that we can do the deal okay the undergraduate admissions that are available at mcgill university and the reason i'm showing you this is so that you can understand the process okay so you can see that you know if you are from an english-speaking country right so if you are taught in english as well so because there are some english-speaking countries that they probably don't even teach you in english right so if you know that you are taught in english right so you would not need to do the english proficiency test okay so remember even if they ask you to do that get an english certification waiver and upload it right and you can get that from your school i made a video about that so please and please and please make sure that you check the video okay now you don't need that okay now if you don't need to provide proof of uh english proficiency that means your answer is yes to any of the following questions have you lived and attended high school and or university for at least four consecutive years in a country where english is acknowledged as their primary language so if that is your case you have to say yes okay so that means you don't need that all right now these are the tests that you take if you you know um if you don't you know what i mean like if your first language is not english then you have to take any of these tests so i just wanted to put that out there okay that this is very important for you to know okay now if you want to know how to apply you need to like first of all know the deadlines decide what i mean by now you should know what you want to study so make sure you're eligible okay then get ready to apply but let's just see what the deadline is like just so that where are you graduating from uh yep high school outside okay so these are like for undergrads for those people that keep saying they don't have scholarship and all of that so <laughs> i'm just trying to so you see so you have to apply by january 15th so you have to start now so meaning like the deadline is january 15th i just wanted to show you guys this okay um so these are like once you get i'm gonna put the link to this and in the description please ensure that you look at the description so that you don't say i didn't put the link okay so make sure that you tap on all this right okay you see apply for an entrance scholarship so you can apply for scholarships here okay all right you see the submission deadline and all of that okay you see i just want to show you guys that there are scholarships for undergraduate programs now now let us go to the main one that i want to talk to you guys about guys it is the mastercard foundation oh my god guys this scholarship is one of the biggest scholarship that i have ever come across okay they pay for your flights they pay for your visa they pay for your expenses like they pay for your tuition they pay for everything like you're just basically coming to ball i think i'm just gonna bring two people who won the mastercard foundation to come and share their experience as well as like maybe like 
you know tell you the tips and tricks on how they won the scholarship but like it's pretty much very simple to be very very honest so if you want to win the mastercard foundation scholarship at mcgill university um and that's why i started with mcgill university you can win that in other parts of the world okay there are schools in the uk that partnered with mastercard so but for now we're referring to mcgill university okay so so who is eligible this is something you want to know they say for an undergraduate bachelor's degree candidates must be between nine years old or under at the time they want to apply so this is for those who um want to go for an undergraduate program the max age is the maximum age <laughs> is 29 so if you are above 29 you cannot apply for this scholarship for an undergraduate program then for a, a, a graduate program that's masters you have to be like 29 and above you must be you cannot be above 35 okay so you want to make sure you note this down as your age eligibility so if you are above any of this age then you do not qualify to apply okay so there are things that you must do before you apply you first of all have to carefully research the program that's you have to apply to the school first before you apply for McGill, right so these are things that you need to do now there are some schools that require you to write SAT, TOEFL, and all of that. They require you to write that if your school requires you to write that. Remember, McGill does not require you to write that because you're from an English-speaking country. So that's a plus for you if you're from an English-speaking country, okay? Then you need to get your reference. When you're applying, make sure that you're... So their own interest is be following the school's instructions, okay? So you want to apply to the school first, right? Um... So now, they always talked about this. And in this school, there's also something I want to let you know that you do not even need, you know, to to pay an exorbitant fee. Okay? It's not like they expect you to pay application fees for MasterCard. The application for the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship is free. Okay? So, I just wanted to, first of all, show you, you know, um, show you that. Okay? So, it's very, very... Like, I love this program because it's... Like, this particular scholarship is something that allows you to like connect and network with a lot of people so i'm just going to show you another one which is like the step-by-step -step application process you know so hello thank you for your interest in the mastercard foundation scholars program at mcgill university please note that the application period for the fall 2024 intake is now open guys you don't want to play don't play don't play so um McGill graduate programs, you know, these are the graduates you're supposed to meet this graduate admissions requirement to verify that they are, you know, you are eligible to apply. Like I said, remember the age if you're applying for graduate programs, that means you're not above 35, okay? And don't worry, there are tons of scholarships that are not age, you know, restricted, and I'm going to share that, but I'm just going to keep unfolding them as the time, you know, permits, okay? Now, this is the McGill graduate program. So this is where you tap if you want to apply to McGill for your program. Now, you have to now complete the MasterCard Foundation. Now, see, the submission deadline for the MasterCard is December 1st. Remember that McGill's deadline for, the own, for their own program is 15. So which means you want to apply before this deadline so that you can be able to apply for the MasterCard Foundation program, okay? Now, there are stages after you apply. After you apply and they, you know... They review your documents, you're notified, okay? Then after that, if you're successful during the pre-screening stage, they will notify you as well and grant a fee waiver. Guys, that's where you don't have to pay for your application to McGill University because this, this scholarship is also with you. They don't want you to pay a dime. Like, you're such a... Oh, my God. Like, it's such a big deal for them to have you on board. Like, they are covering every single thing. If you don't have an international passport, you're going to pay for it. Like, they're going to pay for everything. Your visa fee, your flight, everything. Money for you to, like, take care of yourself. Landing fee, whatnot. It is just covered, okay? Then... Then, um... Once the decision is made, they'll let you know as well. So... These are like, let's just check what the form is like, okay? And then 
um would say so application fee oh my god i just you guys can see this sorry my i use like dark mode every on everything i'm doing so it's like pretty much strange so in order to complete so you have to complete this is an application fee waiver so you don't even need to write that letter okay so it says in order to complete your magio application you will be granted a fee waiver if you are found eligible for the scholarship and you meet the minimum requirements of your intended program so this is not even you're not saying oh you want the scholarship but if you just meet the minimum requirement fill this form okay your application will be automatically you know waived okay i agreed to be pre-screened uh, for a fee waiver okay so you press and remember please i saw a comment on one of the videos i made at top point but they said oh if you apply for an application fee waiver would it mean uh, that they won't give you the scholarship please no they don't think the way you're thinking to be very honest okay personal information you're putting your personal information your first name middle name last name as it is on your passport okay your gender your date of birth country of citizenship country of birth um, if different to citizenship. So if your country of citizenship is Nigeria and your country of birth is Nigeria, you don't need to answer country of birth, okay? Because it's the same with number seven. Um, do you self-identify, select what you self-identify as? If self, okay, your email address, do you have a valid passport? If you say no, let's see. But then they didn't ask why. So just say yes or no, depending on your case. Don't lie, Okay. Then you put your current address. If you currently, if you are currently located outside of your country, so, you should put, so let's say you travel to, let's say UK for a conference. You can put that. Oh, I'm currently out of my home country because I am on a conference. Okay, I I'd have loved to see what the rest of this numbers and uh, pages are, uh, but guys, just because of time, I just want you people to jump on this scholarship and apply ASAP, okay? They are waiving application fee waiver. They are doing so many things and it will really be nice if you explore these options. Remember, one of the greatest things that you need to submit to get your application really, you know, noticed is your academic CV, your statement of purpose, and in most cases, research proposal. But in this case, that does not apply. What they just need is, you know, when you are submitting your application, it's obviously your CV and statement of purpose. How well are you writing your statement of purpose? Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description that would help um, you, like, get your documents reviewed at um, half the price. Okay, this is just simply for YouTube. I don't post this link, uh, um, this by link, on any other social media platform because I'm trying my best not to... Um, have a lot of people i'm reviewing their documents for it's overwhelming okay so guys i wish you all the best and i can't wait to see you in canada